Hay fever is an allergy to various kinds of pollen. And I suppose if you're unlucky, you're allergic to several kinds of pollen that come at different times of the year. It starts off with the, the I think it's the, the, the grass pollen, then it goes on to the tree pollen, or vice versa. I'm not quite sure which way around. Most people think that grass pollen is the only cause of hay fever, which isn't actually the case. Tree pollens in early spring can be very problematic, as can mould spores, which occur in spring and autumn. If we go to the seaside, ease, it, symptoms are a lot less, but um, in town, they're quite, quite bad. Uh, it's actually sometimes worse than living out in the countryside, even though obviously grapes are supposed to be really bad for hay fever, but I get it worse when I'm in town, I think that's all the pollution from the diesel these old uh, vans and lorries and buses that drive around. Hay fever seems to have got much worse in the cities because of the increased use of diesel. Pollen grains mixed with the diesel particles go deeper into the airways. So city slickers have worse hay fever than people living in the countryside. It's a good idea to check the pollen counts on the day that you're going outdoors and when you come back in in the evening to have a shower, wash your hair and remove all the pollen grains from your body. I get uh, itchy nose, runny nose, runny eyes, itchy eyes, sneezing, itching at the back of my throat. The best thing to do is to try and remain indoors um, in the late morning and early evening. That's when the pollen levels seem to peak. What happens is the grasses pollinate early in the morning, the pollen rises up into the atmosphere and then comes down again in the evening. There are simple measures that you can try to reduce your exposure to pollens. Um, what you can do is put some Vaseline or petroleum jelly in the lower nostrils to try and trap the pollen grains and soothe the nose. Some people wear nasal uh, little filters which they put onto the nose uh, to control their exposure to hay fever. Wrap around sunglasses are useful. If you're in a motor car, best idea is to close the windows and switch on the air conditioning as the car usually has a filter that filters out the pollen grains. So then you're in a relatively uh, pollen-free environment. Swimming should be uh, a sport which they can do, particularly out of doors if they wear goggles and some nose prongs just to hold the nose to prevent the pollen grains which tend to float on the surface of the water penetrating the nose. Most hay fever sufferers can carry on exercising outside and the important thing is to take your medication. For more information, visit www.nhs.uk.